One question I receive a lot is how do I get such cool images for my laser engraver? A lot of images are hard to find because they're not available for use. In this video, I'm going to try to show you a few different ways that I like to find the images and how I like to create some images. First, I'll show you how to find high quality images that are available under the Creative Commons license. Let's get started. To begin, enter your desired search term or keyword related to the image you're looking for. And in terms of a laser engraver, lots of times you'll need outlines of images. So I would type in dog outline and click enter. Now let's look at some of the results. Once you see the images, look for the tools or the settings option. On Google, it says Tools, and then locate the Usage Rights button and click the drop down arrow. Find the Creative Commons license. Click it. Here you'll find various outlines of dogs that you can use based on the usage rights. Choose the one that fits your needs. For example, labeled for reuse or labeled for commercial use if you plan to use the image commercially. And there you have it. The search results now display images that are available under the Creative Commons license, allowing you to use them according to the specified terms. But before using any of the images, it is essential to check the specific license terms and be sure to attribute the creator if that's what it says to do. To do that, you click on the image link provided to visit the source page and find detailed information about the license. For instance, this is in the public domain. It's free for editorial, educational, commercial, and or personal projects. Just remember, respect all the license terms and provide appropriate attribution when using Creative Commons license to images. This way you can find amazing visuals while respecting the rights of the creator. Next, I'll show you how you can purchase an item on Etsy. First, go to Etsy.com. To begin, enter your desired search term or keyword related to the type of image that you're looking for. For example, I want to look up a dog outline. Here on the listings page, you can take a moment to review the image details, such as size, format, and any other information provided by the seller. Make sure it meets your requirements. If you are satisfied with an image, click on it, personalize it how you would like, and then add it to cart. Buying images on Etsy is a cheap way to know that you are getting the correct license to use these images. When you download them, there are different types of files that you can use. SVG, JPG, and PNG. All of these types of images will work in Lightburn and Xtool Creative Space. Next, I'll try to show you how to find an image using Canva.com. This is my favorite way to find an image because it's cheap, efficient, and quick. There is a free version of Canva as well as a pro version. I currently have the pro version because I believe I can do a lot more creative work with it, and it's only $10 a month. So let's get started. Hit create design. It gives you a lot of different options on what size material you want to work with. I like to use this Instagram post because it's a square. Once you get to this page, you can change the name of your design to laser. Come over to the side taskbar and click on the elements and you can search whatever you'd like. For instance, dog image. I like to use graphics because they are easier to engrave. You can browse through the images and once you find one you like, you can click on it and it will put it on the page. You can also add elements to the images to make them stand out. 
there are already some images loaded into Canva that you can use a lot of times for your laser engraving, such as an image with a dog and a paw. These are great for laser engraving dog tags or keychains. Once you find an image that you're satisfied with, you can click the text and add a text to the image. Canvas is cool because it auto locks. So you know that your text and image is right where they're supposed to be. You can make the text bigger and change the font. There's lots of other tools that you can use through Canva, such as drawing, uploading your own image, video, or audio. You can add brand elements. You can design a background, which I don't think you'll need this using laser engraving, but it is still a cool tool to use. And you can also look at your saved projects. Once you have your image like you would like, come over to the sidebar, click share, download. You can either download it as a PNG or a JPEG for engraving. Click the one you want and click download. Once you have your image, come over to Xtool Creative Space and insert the image. Click on the little image icon located in the top left corner of your screen. Find your file. Edit the image. Use the magic wand and remove the white background. Click save. Now you can change the size or position of your engraving as well as the power and speed of how you want it engraved. There are a lot of other tools and websites that you can use to find images for your laser engraver. Another couple that come to mind is Shutterstock where you can find stock photos or Adobe where you can create and edit photos. Hopefully I've given you a couple ideas in this video that you can go and increase your laser engraving side hustle, business, or hobby and make cool images. Thanks for stopping by.